20 years on and off since I was 13. I'm almost 33. Like, but uh, really on and off for a long time, and then really started heavily when I was like 26 or so. And was uh, really pretty shitty until I was about 26. It wasn't until like 26 I started getting decent. Yeah. What got you into a skateboard? Uh, I don't know. I was just kind of a little hoodlum, and that was the thing to do. You know, like. It's like we just take our bikes or skateboards out with a backpack full of shit and like go walk around town for the weekend and whatnot and like camp out in the woods and shit. It was just something to pass the time when I was younger and then when I got older it became more fun because I like understood the physics of it better and whatnot and that's what really got me into it when I was like 26 was just like coming back into it and like understanding it so so much better than I could when I was young. back foot is naturally lazy so if you don't go high enough and bring it up you're not gonna have time to uh, smack it down properly so I'm coming back for it okay. Capturing how the truck locks in against the coping when you're filming these skaters because that's what the skaters look for. That's how they call it a certain trick, is how the truck is locking in if it's locking in properly. Yeah, right in the center of the coping. They have different ways of angling it, they call it different tricks. Okay. Yeah, that's the best, easiest way for me to explain it. Okay. So you want to capture that point of contact that's key when you're filming somebody doing lip tricks it's called lip tricks this is the lip of the ramp right here this is the coping this metal part and this is the truck and this will catch it and lock in at different angles sometimes it may lock in both sometimes it may be just one or the other sometimes it may be angled a certain way Someone would look at me and say, he's not a skater. But now, they look at me and say, he's a skater. I'm the same person. I just have a new hobby, you know? And people like to define you as, like, a skater or something. And try to make it, like, more than what it is. It's like, why do people ride bikes? It's fun, you know? You gotta have a hobby. Kind of. I don't know. Why did I start skateboarding? Uh, I don't know. I guess I've always kind of really enjoyed like 
watching other skaters and seeing other skaters and just skate culture and stuff I always thought they were cool and I had like a Walmart skateboard when I was really little and I used to always like ride around and play on that but I never thought I was like a skater I thought I was good because like you try to ollie on a Walmart skateboard and like you're a six-year-old kid and you just like give up because you don't know how to skateboard. No one's ever taught you how to skateboard. There's no rules on skateboarding. Your dad doesn't know shit about skateboarding. Doesn't care that you're a skateboarder. But, you know, uh, during COVID, I actually, I got a skateboard. It's kind of a funny story how I got that skateboard. So before COVID, I actually got, uh, I was in college. I was going to... I won't, I won't name the college, but... So, I got kicked out of this college. <laughs> he let me, like, use the skateboard. And this kid went insane one day. You know, it was on shrooms, uh, cocaine, acid, uh, and was, like, drunk as shit. And it was, like, a three-day bender. I actually saw him, like, all three days. And he, like, progressively got worse each day. And his roommate basically locked himself in his dorm until the police showed up. But it was like the police showed up literally the next day, like eight hours throughout the night. This guy was like trying to break in the fucking door and shit. So it was funny as fuck. But he didn't get in. So uh, the dude got arrested and got kicked out of the apartment. But all of his stuff was still in the apartment. And the one roommate that, you know, he attempted to murder, uh, him and a couple of the other roommates broke into his fucking dorm and, uh, started taking all of his shit, cause, you know, he did try to murder him, so I guess it's, like, kind of fucking, you know, justified, I guess. But they, they offered me the skateboard, and I was like, fuck it, sure. <laughs> I'll take it, I'm not going to take nothing else, but, I'm, like, if no one's going to take the skateboard, they're just going to give it to me, I'll fuck it, I'll, I'll give it a new life, and, yeah, and then I gave it a new life, and that's how I started skateboarding. Say what? Say what? Yeah, this is 8.6, I think. So it would be a size up. I ride an 8.5, 8.5 inches. So there won't be too much of a difference. I do kind of like sizing up every time. Look at this one. It's sick. It's from Nimbus, local company. Pretty dope. It, it, that mean it's see, like it's see this one is an 8.5. Um, Cupcake, also a local company. It's an 8.5. Might get this one. Orange is my favorite color. Uh, it should already be good. Yeah. You should get that one. Do you want your receipt? <laughs> Alright, thank you. Yeah! Oh, sick. Okay. <laughs> These stickers are so good. Do you have, like, any extra, like, the ends of the... The end nuts of the trucks. Oh, um, the axle nuts? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Which sticker? Uh, oh, it's primitive. Uh, uh, Can you get a little bag for all that extra stuff? Nah, I got pockets. Thank you, though. Yeah. Did you want your receipt? Thank you, though. Appreciate that. All right, boys. Got the new board. Gonna, you know, go home, put the grip tape on it, mm, do, do a little art maybe on the grip tape, but I don't think I'm gonna set it up today yet because I gotta give my, my board right now its last day. Just cause, you know, it's treating me right, gotta treat her right too. And, yeah, got a sticker. <laughs> get your board looking about how you want it to look you grab your excess you know grip tape right here and sand down your edges make sure it's got a proper seal on it yeah yeah you know I'm always on that cool shit walk to it do it how you do it have a glass let me put you in the mood it Look cute, looking like a student. Long hair with your big fat booty. Back in the days, you was the girl I went to school with. Had to tell your mom to push the to cool it. The girl wanna do it, I just might do it. Hit her off with some pimp, pimp fluid. Mommy, don't worry, I won't abuse it. Hurry up and finish so you can watch Blueless. I laugh at these niggas when they ask who do this. But everybody know who girl that you with. Nicely, don't make the dog lose it. We just blow, drove, and keep the flow moving in a six foot. Got this sticker from my hat. It's about that time. Yeah, what you know about going out? Head wet, red legs, TVs all up in the headrest. Try and live it up. Rock, do a bigger truck. Keeps all glittered up. Stick a kid, nigga, what? Jig with a cut, ship Chris with it up Hoes rock, get your nut till I can't get it up I'm a big man, get this man room I done hit everything from Cancun to Grand Tune Why you stand on the wall, hand on your balls Lighting up drugs, always fighting in the club I'm the reason they made the dress code To figure out what and why when I'm in my front Finished product Yeah Straight up yeah. What you know about going out? Head west, red legs, TVs, all up in the headrest. Try and live it up, ride through a bigger truck, beats all glittered up, stick up here, nigga, what? Jig with a cut, shit, go spit it up. Hold right, get your nuts, till I can't get it up. I'm a big man, get this man room, I done hit everything from Cancun to Grand Tune. Why you stand on the wall, hand on your balls? Lighting up drugs, always fighting in the club. I'm the reason they made the dress code to figure out what and why when I'm in my press. Ain't good, ain't good. Like those extra old, but he get a key to the next I mean, this is like this is just life to me. I, I feel like if I'm, you know, I, I just always have this as like a, you know, something I can like look forward to doing at any part of the day. 
know, if I'm like, if I'm not feeling it after work, I mean, I'm always looking forward to coming and skating. So it's, to me, it's like, it's like a way of life. It's like a way of transportation, way of life, something you can do um, whenever, you know, it's, it's not really more, it's more of a lifestyle to me than an activity. It's something about like stepping on the board and moving, it's just like, because I love it so much. I mean, yeah, I, I just skate because I love it. tell people about skating it's like dude it, this is this nothing this is just a talent it's just another talent like basketball soccer any sport that brings you together with with the with people in the world it's it's not a crime it's not like a you know this is just another recreational thing like that brings people together actually i think it does a lot of more good than it does bad um, i understand there's like you know like the street skating culture that like kind of you know has a battle with like I guess, you know, officials and stuff, but I mean, yeah, this is this is just like a recreational thing that I think brings people together. And I, if I could tell people what it, what it has done in my life and how it's impacted me and like how it's shaped, you know, like who I am as a person, I mean, I think that they would have a better understanding of it. So it's just, to me, it's, it's a great, positive thing. It's, it's no different to me than football or basketball or baseball or just anything else that would bring people together. I think it's just a it's just a big it's a big sport that like is just it might not have as much respect as others but it's, it's still still just as special. So um, at 4 o'clock today uh, in Albany, New York, at Blue Banks, we're having a uh, we're having a skate contest. I think it's being held by Season Skate Shop, and uh, Best Trick is gonna win. Skateboarding day, it's usually June 21st every year. It's the longest day of the year. It's been around for probably a decade now. We're doing ours now because it rained. I feel like all our friends had theirs on the 21st. There was some weird rain cloud only over Albany on that day. So we're doing it today. The weather's great, obviously. We can fully see the turnout. It's good, just trying to bring everybody together. Have a good time, have a jam. Skate, have fun, hand out some prizes, some money, just get everybody hyped on skateboarding.
Let's go, dog. On the books, Albany still counts skateboarding as illegal. So you know, it's good that events like this can come out, can uh, can happen, and really give people a space to just you know have fun and come together and skate and be healthy. There was Hi, a pastor Gardens. who I can't you? remember his name, shop manager, Melissa. but Hi, anyway, Melissa he did a lot of fundraising for a skate park and the community just didn't rally around it. And new skateboarding so was not really embraced as a positive activity for kids. Because it wasn't a team sport. And kids did it on the street and they, they got in the way and they did it where they weren't supposed to, but they didn't have places where they could do it. So wherever they did it, they were in trouble. And Jenny, because it wasn't a, a public, publicly accepted activity. And Jasper and his friends, when they were in junior high, were skateboarders, but they didn't have a place to skate. And they also rode bikes. And then I found out there was a, a grant that the town had gotten a grant for a skate park. It was a matching grant with the state, but the time was running out and they were gonna lose the grant. So I conscripted those boys into the skate park committee and we did fundraising for four years and got enough money to match the grant. And the year, these, this, the month these guys graduated from high school, this park got built. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, I didn't know that. That's, that's yeah, really cool. Yeah, and this was, ja and Jasper did his first touch concrete for the first time here. Oh. Yeah.
Most of the time we come here, people are sitting on it, so we can't skate it. It doesn't look like a place people should be sitting on. Right? It leaves a stain on their face. What is the... So really what's the point of this thing, anyway? Back to the skaters can't skate anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Back to the community problem. Because this is made to be skated. It definitely does. Kingston Leaf Skate Park dropped this off just for us. Did they really? Not for us. I but believe but it. It's so fucking hot. Yeah. So what are you going to do? A game of skate. Oh, let me ski. Okay. It's um, it's kind of like horse in basketball. One person sets a trick, um, the next person does it, and if you don't land it, you get a letter. And if the person who's setting the trick misses the trick, then you switch. You want to play? Sure. Like this? Or here, let's just see. It makes it easier, oh. easier to make. I invented sweat. Popping bottles, putting supermodels in a cat. Bro. SK? SK? Okay. New watch alert. New blows. Or the big face rolly, I got two of those. Arm out the window through the city, I maneuver slow. Cock back, snap back, see my cut through the holes. Damn easy and ho, where the hell you been? Niggas talking real reckless, stop man. I adopted these niggas, fill up coming in. Now I'm about to make them tuck they whole summer in. They say I'm crazy, why I'm about to go dumb again. They ain't see me cause I pulled up in my other bins. Last week I was in my other, other bins. Throw your diamonds up, cause we in this bitch another again. Photo shoot fresh, looking like wealth. I'm about to call a paparazzi on myself. Uh. Live from the Mercer, run up on Yeezy the wrong way, I might murk it. Flee in the G450, I might surface. Political refugee asylum can be purchased. Uh, everything's for sale, got five passports, I'm never going to jail. I made Jesus walk, so I'm never going to hell. Couture level flow, it's never going on sale. Luxury rap, the Hermes of verses. Sophisticated ignorance, write my curses in cursive. I get it custom, you a customer, you ain't custom to going through customs, you ain't been nowhere, huh? And all the Ladies in the house, got them showing out. I'm done, I hit you up, man. Nah. Welcome to Havana. Smoking Cubanos with Castro and Cabanas. Via Mexico. Cubano, Dominicano, all the plugs that I know. Driving Benzes, with no benefits. Not bad, huh? For some immigrants, build your fences. We digging tunnels. Can't you see we getting money up under you? Can't you see the private jets flying over you? Maybach bumper stickery, what we're overdue. Jay is chilling, yay is chilling. What? Technically, it was a 360. What was it? It was a 180 revert. But back side, front side, front side. The one that you can't oh. do. You're just an asshole. I lose. 180 reaper. Right, you lost. That's your advantage. No, I lost her. No, you get three chances, remember? Three chances? Oh, yeah. That's how skate works. In this campaign, as you can see, we didn't body the big Back down. That does not count. I did not make the trick. You landed. I lost. Technically. I'm over it. Uh, are you ready? 
Yeah. Yeah. For today. You only get it for the 4th of July. Have fun for everybody. Hell yeah. Alright, so day three here, it's already skate park. Um we're about to we're about to get this pour going. We poured yesterday. But uh today we just got some more crafting to do and we're gonna give a report in about ten minutes here. Should be skating this thing within like three, you know, four days. We should be out here session. So it's pretty, pretty gangster. Pretty excited. I skate because this is what I love to do. And when I'm on that board, it's not like a drug, but it's just, just that feeling. And when I'm skating good, I feel like I'm the man. And when I'm, there's, to me, there's no better feeling in the world when you're trying a trick so hard, trying and trying and trying and trying, and then you finally get that trick, and you get it on film, there's no better feeling than that. There's no better feeling than that. And the reason why I'll continue to keep skating is because skateboarding is like life to me. Because in life, in order to grow, you have to take a lot of losses. And skateboarding teaches you that. Skateboarding, you fail a whole lot. You, There's no way anybody just gets good off of just first try. Like You're going to fail. You're going to fail. And skateboarding is like a humbling experience because the reward is very, very sweet. And I feel like if I keep skating, a lot of great things are going to keep continuing coming my way. Ever since I've been skating, a lot of great things have come my way. And I feel like the skateboard has been a guide to that. And I just, just going to keep doing it. It's like just a love. It's just, something. it's just something about it, man. I'll be honest, skateboarding is still mostly white. I won't lie. But there is a lot of there is still a lot of diversity in it. Because to me, the beauty of skateboarding now is that anybody can do it. Anybody. It doesn't matter. Like it's, it's just never too late for you. No matter how old you are, how big you are, how small you are, what gender, your sexual orientation, your race, it don't matter. Skateboarding's for everybody. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's just you on the board. And the board will just take you wherever you want to go. And, and I just feel like um, diversity in skateboarding, obviously it still needs work, but I feel it's going in the right direction. Because skateboarding has become more accessible to everybody. And everybody has tried to skateboard at least once in their life. Everybody. If you saying no, you lying. I know for a fact. He was like, you know, I want to try that. You probably picked it never, never picked up again, but you tried it before. And that another reason, another example how it shows that skateboarding is for everybody. Skateboarding is for everybody. Even my boy right here. Skateboarding is for everybody. Class photo. Right, I'm not recording now. Oh, my fault, my fault. There you go, you good, you good. Actually, this is a fucking awesome Tyson Jones class photo. You know what I'm saying? Very fly, you know what I'm saying? You see it, you see it, you see it. I got the Hardy's grip tape. Hardy's ganger, don't bang, you know the vibes, bro. Come on. I got spare fire wheels. They're kind of old. I got thunder trucks. This is an A25. And I just like how this board rides a lot. But like I said, I'm, I think I'm gonna try something new. Just like to see what I like and I don't like. Trial and error, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out FA, shout out Tyshawn, shout out Hardy's, Hardy's ganger, don't bang, you know the vibes, bro. Come on. It's HG over here, Hardy's world. Okay. Hardy's ganger don't bang, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. Hardy's ganger. 
Okay, so I'll say my how I got this scanning, I kind of like lied a little bit or I missed some details. So I'll say what I said was true, but I was kind of like on my poser type timing kind of for a little bit. I used to get Mad Thrasher magazines with the free Thrasher t-shirt. I was rocking the Vans and whatnot for everybody else. Stop playing on me back in like 2014. But yeah, and then um, I wasn't really skating and I, um, I tried to skate in like 2017, went to the skate park, fell mad hard, bro. Did not skate again for almost three years. And then one day, it's like, yo, bro, me, I, I had my boy Vlad, are you trying to skate? It's like, yeah. But the reason why I, I, I put in this consideration again because I saw this video of this skater named Tyshawn Jones. And he's notoriously known now for skating over trash cans. Standing up. So think about that real quick. Skating trash cans, metal trash cans, standing up. And he'll do flip tricks over them. And I, saw, I was in the library senior year of high school. And he ollied over four trash cans standing up. No, no ramp. Just straight like speed and pop. When I saw that, my mind was blown, bro. I was like, now nah, y'all gotta see this. Told so, my my friends, yo, y'all gotta see this, bro. This guy is legit. And ever since that day, you know what? All right, bet. And then 2020 came around. So like, you know what? Let me try it. And here I am now. So the way we get the board to pop up is we stomp down. We stomp down right here. And once we once, once we hear like that pop sound. We jump, and once we like, once we jump in the air, it's up like this. We slide with this foot to bring it back down, and that's an ollie. I'll try to show you right here, but I don't think it's pretty good. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. like that. Okay. It's, it's 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 a science to this for real, for real. a lot of physics. Uh, can I do that? I get I literally get the feel of the flick. I get See the best. Word yeah, I get right I, I get I get the best I get the best response from the flick. And Gabe just told me like that you just do that when you first start out, and then when you get better, mm -hmm. you're able to do it like almost any way you want. Wait, we're, about, we're about to go to the skate park right now. Hold on. You got one. I got like I got like five other ones. The I best looking one to me is this one. Yeah, this one. This one. Yeah, this one right here is a it's a Justin Henry Pro Board for Quasi. The painting, the art is on him dunking the globe, the world, but the world's on fire. To me, like that's just it's just such fire art. The way he was painting all that stuff. The best thing about this board, it came with the poster. So this design, I have it as a poster. Wait, so this this one is the last one you got, right? No, that's the last this one before the, last before one. the new one. I thought one. you said this one was like your best board. Thing, anything up your sleeve? We got to stretch sometimes. Always stretch. Always stretch. Always stretch. This is my boy. This is my boy fire. Gabe right here. Yo, what's happening, bro? He's a really good skater, bro. He's really nice to meet good. you, Gabe. Make sure you get some film of him, bro. He's and a you? he's a hooper, sure. bro. He's a hooper. What's your name, bro? Jamari. Jamari. Word. Keep that in mind, he's here bro. For like, um, he's filming like a documentary about skateboarding. Oh hell yeah. Also, you want some film, bro? Him. Him, bro. He's a hooper too. Okay. He's he's only like 16, bro. 15, 16, bro. It's just crazy. Bro, he's. I'm telling. I'm telling you, bro. Like. He's up next. Bro. Oh! Yo, Vlad, take take the phones, bro. Doom. That's why I was like, yo, I don't know. I reminisce for a spell or shall I say think back yeah. 22 years ago They were sketchy So I was just trying to learn how to like 
see, set my feet quick mm -hmm. when I get on the mini pad and hop off. If you're going too, if you're going too fast, you have to like hop do quick, it right bro. away, yeah. right when you get on it. You, you're not gonna have enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's what happened to you in one. Like, you That means good luck, greater things are on the way. I basically stuck to skating because it helped me calm down. I kind of grew up with like anger issues and it was kind of just my way of dropping everything and be feeling free. Basically that helped me out a lot growing up. It makes me feel so free. Just stomping something is like so satisfying and I love the fucking culture. All my friends are just like always hit me up to go skate and it's fun to just roll around town, do whatever, mob and shit. Anywhere is your playground basically, so that's what I really like about it is I can just take my board wherever and just roll It's really satisfying Like everyone always shows respect everyone knows the rules of skating We all take turns and it's like it's really dope. I really love it and I can adjust quickly with everyone Whenever I tell people I skate they think it's really trashy and like they think we just kind of like do graffiti and like mess around but honestly it gets, it's a lot deeper than that. It, it's brought so many connections with me and a lot of other people, and it's really dope. My name is Zanif, Zanif Washington. I'm from, yeah. I'm from around here in Albany. I've been skating for about almost three years now. It started in summer of 2020. Yeah. And uh, what really got me into skating was these two, Dwayne, Vlad. I was bored just uh, you know, looking for something to do during the summer. Cause at that point we was in lockdown and you know during the summer that's when all the protests were going on with George Floyd and all that and I wanted to go out and just you know make my voice heard so I, I linked up with these two I didn't even know they was on board and at first I was too scared to skate you know what I mean but you know I, I kind of had to get over it because every time we went to a protest these two would leave me behind and I had no board so I'll speak from my perspective right? so for me as a filmer I try to do my best to work with whatever camera I have, no matter whether it's a, a cell phone or you know a digital camera or a VHS camera. 
I just like to make sure I have the best content I can produce and work to the best of my ability, whether it be the time of day and lighting that works well when I'm filming my, filming my clips, or you know the type of uh, boards and the styles and outfits the skaters are wearing that matches the vibe of what they want to get inside of the clip. Or just, just anything in general, I want to really do my best to make colors pop and really show a different perspective to skating that isn't just a bunch of you know energetic youth just having a ball and being reckless and all that stuff. There's really true art to this, and I want to express that art, whether it be through skaters' fashion or through the boards themselves. So you know, I think that I can contribute that well from a, from a filmer's perspective. Name? Were you shooting? Type of camera it is. So this is. I just found this. I don't even know exactly what this is. This is a um. This is a Hitachi eight millimeter camera. It's a uh, thirty two digital zoom lens. You want to get in on it? Yeah, I had. Uh, I found this like. I found this in a closet in a briefcase, not a suitcase sitting in there so you know I, it, I dug through it. it I saw some blank cassette tapes I um I had to call and see whose it was it was actually my stepdad so you know he let he said I could use it he ain't using it you know he's not here right now he's out but uh yeah I've been using this for a couple of weeks now I'm I'm getting used to it I like it this is this is a very retro very old school I think Cameras like these are actually starting to make somewhat of a comeback right now, so these are going up in value and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky to have just found this somewhere lying in my house. So right now, you see, yeah, know, see Vlad, you see the way we experimenting around with this. We're gonna see how everything turns out. favorite thing about uh, using this camera is just how clean it looks. I'm, I'm really, I'm like a big nostalgia nerd, so anything that has to do with sort of like the 2000s or anything like that, I, I immediately love it because that's where my heart is. That's really where, uh, that's really how I came up, just using VHS cameras, old school video games and shit. I got GameCubes and PlayStation games and all that other stuff, like original PS2 shit. So, you know, anything that's nostalgia based or old school, I'm I'm on it immediately. So it felt it felt good when I found this. Cause I, I really was trying to look for something different and create a, a a retro aesthetic with how I film. Especially with what we doing with skating, because you know that's really making a big comeback. You know, shit, shit like this is going up in price for like five hundred dollars and shit like that. I'm I'm really lucky and blessed to have found this just lying around in my house. is like a mix of like biking and skateboarding because like you can do like bike tricks and there's like grinds that like you would do on a like a skateboard with the bottom of the deck and I, I, like that's why I love scootering because it's like I feel like it's a perfect mix of the two and it's just like a lot of fun and it's kind of a little bit like it's not super new anymore but like it's still relatively newer than a lot of the other sports so I feel like I can like kind of invent my own tricks that I've never seen done before and I just find that really exciting. <laughs> So I got into skateboarding because I was surrounded by it growing up. Um, pretty much from my childhood to the beginning, I've been hanging out with kids that were a lot older than me within like three to five years. And I was kind of drawn to everything that they did. So I only have a younger brother, but I have an older brother that I consider. He was my best friend growing up. And he got into skateboarding. And so I just kind of followed along. I was probably like, 11, 12 years old. Why I skateboard? Um, honestly, for me, I'm just a big adrenaline junkie. Um, anything that gets that adrenaline going, the adrenaline high is like fantastic. 
and it kind of goes half and half with music too. Um, I've noticed with skateboarding, it's just the freedom. Um, there's no real competition. It's just a bunch of homies coming out to whether it's a street skate spot or it's a skate park or wherever you're going. There's never any like competition. It's more so just fuel. In a baseball game, you would see teams going head to head and there's all that like headbutting. Well, it's like you go to a stair set and watch your homie kickflip down it and then another homie tray flips down it. It's like both of them are just as amped because everybody's killing it. Uh, as far as the public's view on skateboarding, I think it's come a long way, especially since it first began. It was kind of immediately seen as this negative thing, but that's because it was something new, something people weren't used to, and something that it took a while for people to get used to. Um, I think nowadays it's a lot more accepted on a general standpoint, but it still goes kind of hand in hand. So how did you get into skateboarding? Uh, I got into skateboarding from like watching like YouTube, not gonna lie. They saw like Braille skateboarding and then one day I got like a skateboard for Christmas when I was like seven. I learned how to ollie and then I stopped because my landlord threw that shit away. But, uh, and then how I got back into it, it was like three years ago. Four years ago, 2019, I went to Target, seen a skateboard, wanted to fucking learn again. Wow. And then I just did that. That's how I just started. My favorite trick is right now is a tree flip. Tree flip, kick flip, back on 80, I guess, yeah. You know, not really hard. Um, skate culture? Like, I don't know. Or just a lifestyle. I mean, a lifestyle? Like, what is it like? Well, your or favorite, anything My favorite, favorite is the kind of like the fashion. I like I like wearing the baggy jeans, I guess. The cool look, you know what I'm saying? To look fresh. That's pretty much it. That's my favorite part, honestly. You know? Just it, like, you get to express yourself. I'm expressing with my full capabilities. And now I'm living in correctional facilities. Cause some don't agree with how I do this I get straight and meditate like a Buddhist I'm dropping flavor, my behavior is hereditary But my technique is very necessary Blame it on Ice Cube Because he said it gets funky When you got a subject and a predicate Add it on a dope beat And it'll make you think Some suckers just tickle me pink to my stomach Cause they don't flow like this one You know what? I won't hesitate to diss one or two before I'm through So don't try to sing this Some drop science Well, I'm dropping if yella makes it a cappella, I still express yo, I don't smoke weed or sex. Cause it's known to give a brother brain damage. And brain damage on the mic don't manage nothing but making a sucker and you equal. Don't be another sequel. You wanna stop? 
about to move up the chart, then expression is a big 